Hey, hey, hello, welcome on my channel, Triple Two Tarot. This is Galtu Bam back with another pick a card reading for all of you. First of all, Happy New Year to all of you. I really hope that this year brings you a lot of happiness and wishes and dreams come true, bring you a lot of abundance, success, true love, true joy, and a lot of manifestations um, come true for you. I'm definitely rooting up everyone and each one of you watching this video now or maybe later um, after posted this. So this is a January 2022, 23, sorry, <laughs> I'm going to use to it. Okay, so January 2023 predictions for you, messages like uh, what do you need to know? What is this uh, next um, month or next year? What are your de dreams? What are your goals? Or what are you trying to manifest? What are you trying to, maybe you're going to hear from people or we know that there's a Venus in um, in Capricorn and then there's a Mercury retrograde is also right now going on in a Capricorn. So I know that. I hope that Capricorns are okay. I know you're not, but okay. So some of you, some Capricorns, wherever your Capricorn placement is, definitely watch it out in your astrology birth chart because it is going to affect you there in that house, okay, in that place. So um, for some of you, it is going to be like a breakup situation and others of you, it's like a makeup situation, rebound, reconciliation. Um, happening here. I'm talking about everyone, okay, wherever your uh, Capricorn placement is, but mostly because retrograde talk about past people coming back, are you revisiting about your past behavior, activities, things, uh, situations um, that's coming and you could be, uh, you know, going back to school, going back to your elders, going back to your family, I don't know, there's a, things are happening because it's a Mercury retrograde, so there could be also some misunderstandings, um, that you may be going to see it clearly now and we also have Capricorn and Venus so it could be a chance that old lover past lovers friendships people coming back from the past um, but again it's talking about um, we are talking about new year here new place uh, new month here so we are definitely going to see basically what you're attracting what you're manifesting what's next and uh, what's going to happen next for you so keep an open mind it's a general reading take what resonates and leave the rest uh, you can also book a personal reading. Everything is given in the description box. You can reach out to me if you want to. And please be careful from the scammers and fake accounts. Uh, I will never ever reach out to you if you're new on my channel or even if you're already a subscriber. By Because my real account of social media are given below in the description. You can check it out by the link, okay? Um, also, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Hit the notification bell. I really hope that we stay as a, uh, and expand um, and... Uh, we will add more and there will be a lot of people joining me again in this year too and triple two uh, family so i'm really happy and blessed to have you guys already with me and the people who will join me later also um i will be happy and grateful obviously so let's keep moving forward because this year is definitely going to pump it up and let's go with the new goals new motivations and all things that growing and expanding in our life and uh, not looking at the past at more um just just we need to glow up we need to grow up and we need to glow up that's what i believe that this year will be i will definitely do the prediction for new year but right now i'm doing uh, for a month like january 2023 uh, monthly prediction okay so choose intuitively you have a three groups in front of you choose intuitively whatever the pile is calling you i'm gonna, i'm gonna use the tarot and charms live okay but i pre shuffle some oracles card Number one is this butterfly, number two is this pirate stone, and number three is the key. I'm going to meet you on your reading. Let's go. Hello, group number one. Welcome. If you choose this beautiful butterfly, let's see what's happening for you in this month. What you can expect, what you're going to experience this month. Let's see what's in your card. We have the caution. Ooh. Ah, oh, yeah. Okay. So some of you, you're going to be, maybe your exes or past people are coming back. So you have to be cautious, okay, to see because... I believe that this Mercury retrograde is going to be uh, January 8th. Yeah, January 8th. So until January 8th, it is going to stay. So be cautious if someone, some people are coming back from the past. So are you visiting, revisiting these people or thinking about to go back and to contact them, to meet them or to see them, then be cautious. Like this could be the effect of a Mercury retrograde. That's something that is unfinished or not over that you need to done it. So there could be some closure issues here. But be cautious to making your decisions, making um, choices, okay? And because it is going to affect your, um, obviously, ahead in the future. Let's see, keep moving forward. I'm going to use these oracles to see basically what's happening. Yeah, save yourself. 
you are enough soul apart so some of you it's really important uh, definitely talking about stuck energy let me wait wait a minute we have a lacking unavailable incomplete oh my god this is something karmic situation going on here like you're stuck on someone or something it could be a situation shape like you're not you're having a difficult time to get over someone this could be your ex or past person or even literally someone that you cannot forget you feel this is a missing piece some of you you could be feeling lonely this time yeah, you are feeling lonely. Be cautious. Do not involve with people when you are lacking. When you are, you're, it's like you're feeling lonely, okay? It's not like you're alone. You are enough. They're saying, save yourself. You're enough. You need to heal your heart. You need to find this missing piece in you because you feel like there's something missing in your life and that person will come and save you. No, it could be something. You could be processing through some trauma or spiritual awakening that right now going through it because you're feeling lonely. Um... You're feeling sad or you want to be in a relationship, but there's a warning here and cautious energy here. You maybe can, for some of you, it could be some type of a one night stand or hookup energy. Like you're feeling very erotic or something, like sexual, like you really want to have it. Be careful. We also have a mystery. We have a confusion, um, uncertainty. Yeah, for some of you, you're really worried about your future. Um, you could be disappointed. You could be crying. You could be... <sighs> When, when we are going through this all situation, so you could be going back to your exes or thinking about the past, thinking about the past people, maybe like thinking about with the mystery, energy, confusion, like maybe that person is my soulmate. Maybe that person is my twin flame. I should go back. We have a chance. No, be cautious. There's a caution and save yourself because of your liking something. You need to focus on yourself right now. You're enough. Don't go back to the same. Don't go back to those people who hurt you. You really need to protect your energy here. We also have independence. Yes, be be watchful, curiosity. Yeah, I feel for some of you, you could be lacking some emotional independency because it could be talking about like you're really relying, you're really needing someone in your life. For some of you, not for everyone. But we have a butterfly. Let's talk about transformation. It's time to transform. It's time to be curious and think about your future. Like what is ahead? What I need to focus on? The, for some of you, you could be working on your independence right now. You're really struggling with it. You could be um, financially not stable or lacking. You don't have a job. So you could be comparing your life with other people. Look at this. She, she's, the cat is looking up to it. But some of you are feeling, I don't know why, it's like a very sexual energy from you guys. Like you're really feeling like sexual or, or there could be someone. Okay, it, it could be not you. It could be this person, whoever is entering in your life or re-entering someone coming back from the past. So be careful because they may be coming because of lacking. They need you. It's not like they're just looking for you or they want it's like they're lacking something in themselves. They need you because of their sexual need or physical need and they can drain your energy. Or maybe when you're meeting someone, be careful with that. But a lot of you, I feel like uh, you could be a nurse or doctor or could be in a healing profession. So some of you, you're really uh, feeling drained or exhausted. It's time to focus on yourself right now because you're lacking this energy. Um, okay, let's go. We have a jealous. Here you go. Yeah, for some of you, you could have an evil eye on you. Especially if you are independent, if you could be financially stable and this person could be mysterious or like really hidden from you and they're very jealous because of your success, because they're lacking something in their life that they don't have, but you have it. So be careful, protect your energy. If you're feeling drained or uh, even though you're not sick or you're not ill, but you're feeling drained or exhausted and you maybe feel this energy around you. Or you maybe have some intuitions are telling you already like about someone who's mysterious or are acting in mysterious around you. This is that person. Um, we have a devoted. We also have a hanging out and we have a romantic. Okay, for some of you, you could be hanging out with a jealous friends or people. They're definitely not happy. Or you could be hanging out with your romantic partner, but your friends or people are jealous. Like why you're together? Something like that. There's also X energies lingering here. If you're hanging out with people, if you're posting, you know, like with your friends. So this person could be jealous. Like, and we also have a romantic and devoted. For some of you, there is a romantic and you deserve romantic and devoted person. He or she, whoever you are or whoever you're looking for, you deserve that. But if someone is coming just to hang out with you because they're liking, they're missing you or you're missing that person or you're jealous because they're with someone or... You are jealous because they are with someone? No, it's, it's just lacking. Be cautious. It's just a karma. It's a karmic cycle that you need to be aware of it. Yeah, you could be lacking or hanging on with jealous people. Be careful because these people are mysterious. Like they're, they could be your hidden enemies and I feel like these people are coming back. 
in, are re-entering in your life. Be careful. Are uh, there are some? I feel like for some of you, it's a because of your romantic life. Maybe people are jealous because you're romantic and devote. Your partner is very romantic and devoted, or you both are very devoted and romance, romancing up. And there are people who are definitely putting the evil eye. So I would definitely recommend you to not post this thing, type of a things on social media. Uh, do not hang out with these type of people that you feel the energy like they're jealous. They're not happy. It could be in in vs eyes, but but it could be like jealousy. I'm all literally feeling jealousy. Okay, so let's see from tarot now because let's move forward now with this energy here. Okay, so let me put the cards here. Let me see the more cards here now. Basically, what tarot is saying or something else. Let's see. Okay, let's see from the tarot for group number one what you can expect this month we have a, yeah everything is fine ten of sword yeah there's definitely jealous people here they're not happy this could be literally your ex or someone from your past is jealous because they're hanging out or they think that you have a romantic partner or maybe literally you have a romantic partner you're dating or they maybe think that you're doing it you could be cheating them you could be hurting it's like this person is jealous there is someone who's very jealous look at this ten of swords this could be someone who is like very jealous about your love life, okay? If you're having it, or this could be someone who's jealous because you're successful, you're independent. Um, I feel some of you, you're, you're feeling everything is, you're, you may be pretending like everything is fine, but it's not. You really need a help because I, I can see that. Uh, some of you, you could be right now going through some anxiety. You could be, you could be checking on someone. Please do not do that because you're going to feel jealous and it can drain your energy or it can affect your health because i can see that some of you could be struggling with a mental health or you're feeling lonely you could be watching old memories pictures reading old text old you could be watching your crush even you're jealous because they could be in a relationship but if it's not this could be your energy like um there is someone who's jealous of you with a ten of thoughts like they're not they're watching you and they're not happy they're jealous and this is a very jealous energy coming and it's really affecting your life some of you, I feel like you could be ending up with someone. Yeah, this could be a breakup happen. You could be still not have, you know, not got, got over this person. You could be waiting for this person to text or call you back or to, to come back to you. Maybe if you are going back to this person, you really need to think about it, why you're going back. Because it's a Mercury retrograde effect here. That's I, I strongly believe. Um, you could be an air sign or you could be dealing with the air sign like Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. We have an ace of wands. Yes, there's a spark. There's a passion. There's a desire. It could be a one night stand. Okay. Some of you, you could be rebounding with your partner again, like someone from your past. And this person is definitely coming for rebound. Like they want to have a sex. They're needing you because of their own need, because it's, it's giving me like a dick energy. If this is a guy coming back or male, or this could be you, you're going back to your ex or thinking about it, even if you're a guy or female. It's definitely like a very sexual energy here desiring for that person desire like there's a need here okay they're like this person wants to meet you up because of this this desire this need it's a wands but this could be literally a new person here like um you're talking to be careful this there could be some energy of like uh, sexual desire here like this person um and you maybe met on online or internet this, this person could live far from you Okay, and they're definitely desiring you, they're wishing you, they could be very sexually um, attracted to you or physically attracted to you, like you have everything that they want in a partner, like the star, they're hoping and wishing that, yeah, I feel like you, some of you, this could be a secret admirer here with the mystery and the star, this could be Aquarius who's crushing on you, Aquarius, Aries, Leo, Sag maybe, if this is a new person or there's a spark here or someone is is like very attracted to you, but there's a mystery here because this person never spoke to you. This person never told you. Or maybe this person is just hiding behind the scenes, like you have no idea. There's a confusion here about this person. This is a star, okay? Like this is someone could be wishing for you. They have a crush on you. They like you. They're desiring. Um, they maybe live on the distance or right now you are on the distance, like you're not talking to each other because I can see that with a star and ten of swords. Yeah, I believe this is someone who is definitely not happy because you're not in a contact and they want a new beginning with you. They want to come back. They need you. They're lacking this energy. But you could be a star. You could be a healer, light worker. 
you could be an artist you could be a spiritual person or empath or literally a sensitive person i don't know with a star like you have a very healing energy and this person is really feel like they need you some of you you need to heal this energy if you are you gone through a breakup separation if you are thinking about to go back to the person there's a cautious needed here you need to think about it like why you're thinking but there could be some type of a new beginning happening here with someone. Either you're meeting someone new or this is the same person coming back to you. Yeah, we have the hermit. This is someone who ghosted you. Period. Nine of Wands. They're, they have been guarded up. Yeah, this is someone who's like jealous. Even you're not together, you're not dating, but this person is jealous. Like why you are talking to other people? Why you're hanging out with other people? Why you are like uh, dating other people? Even though this person is not available. This person is not available. Or they were not available in the in the past yeah this is definitely giving me sagittarius gemini aquarius virgo gemini y or libra maybe even no but not gemini i believe gemini and taurus yeah taurus gemini or aquarius vibe could be a fire sign like sagittarius aries leo yeah i believe this is someone with a ten of swords okay so you have someone who ghosted you who break your heart um, who was guarded up, okay, they, they have a trust issues, they were not trusting, this, even this person could be maybe popular, um, they could be very active in social media, or they could be very social activist, this is also someone who could be literally a popular, uh, or like someone who's very attractive and charming, and they know it, this bitch know that, they are attractive, it doesn't matter, male or female, whoever they are, this bitch know that, okay, so we have a, everything is fine, nine of wands and the hermit, this person who ghosted you is watching you, keeping an eye on you, this could be even literally watching your business, like what are you doing? If you are becoming a successful independent, there's definitely a lot of people are maybe watching you and they're jealous that why you are reaching on the level of success, let me tell you. So you need to save yourself, there's an evil eye on you. I don't know why I'm getting here. So let me save the energies because this is the very uh, toxic energy coming. So let's do it, okay? Let me clear the energies because this person is like whoever they are. You maybe have a lot of people who are jealous of you right now and there is also some energy here of like your ex or someone from your past they're not happy because you, they don't want you to move on they still want you to be like miserable okay get back to the reading yeah so this could be your ex or someone from your past or these people are jealous people they're not happy because you're becoming successful um are you maybe getting some type of a fame popularity um, you could be recently started something or doing something you recently maybe had a glow up okay or you will have a glow up in this year because i can see that uh, there's something that you also change in your body maybe you really change your hair color you you have a you're glowing up now or maybe there is some type of um, physique change you may be wearing some type of expensive cloth or i don't know there's something that you did recently and um changing hair color or some type of a cloth that you're wearing or something i don't know this these people are definitely not happy and jealous they're jealous okay because of your beauty or because of your charm or recently you just become more confident independent successful so this person is definitely and this could be literally an ex okay they're lacking look at this knight of sword this person is coming and reaching out to you like they want to stop you these people are this person especially want to stop you to not get involved with anyone else but with me you know but they're also not like here to provide you something it's like like they're like they were not available they ghosted you so they, they're definitely watching there's definitely someone keeping an eye on you or there's a lot of people keeping an eye on you another thing i'm picking up you could be also starting something like it's like a wish or dream come true you may be there's someone who may be bringing some type of a gift to you or you may be going to awaken to your natural talent or gift there's also something that you're starting very fresh or new from this month. Some of you, you could be starting working out maybe. Or you may be starting some type of a new activity or, or job or hobby that's going to bring you a lot of um, wish fulfillment. There's definitely some type of a wish coming through. I believe that this is your crush maybe who is also not going to notice you. Some of you, your, your crush is going to notice you. And there's other bitches who are very ha uh, definitely not happy. Okay? Because this person notice you or maybe they want to hang out with you. Or they maybe want to, you know, there could be a chance here that you can date uh, someone that you are interested in right now. It's like a spark here. It's like definitely a new person. You're about to meet this person or you already met this person. 
and this person is about to make, make, a, make a move maybe and there will be a lot of past people exes people from your past uh, or the or i don't know their bitches definitely there's a lot of bitches who are definitely not gonna be happy or maybe this person is very popular okay like they could be very attractive and they are popular so people are gonna be like whoa why are you hanging out with this person this is mine bitch no they're not so this is like the, those controlling possessive bitches like they're gonna be like claiming this person even though they're not their person you got me you know that type of people now let me get some um, a message for you like some type of like what will be your focus or what, where you need to focus or anything that you need to know from this oracle's card a message for you group number one and then we will move towards some charms yeah we have a choices i told you either you have a lot of options and choices and you're very popular you have a lot of opportunities coming you can do anything you're manifesting a lot of things there is a lot of things on your plate your dreams are coming through um, or this is someone that they have a lot of options but they're choosing you look at this worry less about making the right choice and more about being strong enough to handle any outcome yes here you go so that's your message and there's another thing abundance here wow you're getting a lot of things so there could be a lot of choices and options in money making money resources um or some type of um sales and also like uh, new opportunities coming for you could be someone is reaching out to you because they want to work with you abundance being a thoughtful um, steward for the money you already have is the secret to creating more abundance when you trust yourself to handle more that's when more shows i feel like you really need to focus on yourself stop giving and paying attention to these bitches or these people or haters or jealous people because you can do anything you deserve it the star it's fate it's destiny it's it's like your wish is coming true you deserve it okay you just deserve it okay let's move towards some charms and then i will move towards some group number two either you are falling for someone or there is someone who's fell for you and they're choosing you or they want to be with you or there is some exes are reaching out so maybe you have a choices new love and past people maybe so make sure that you choose the right person or right option for yourself because i don't think so there will be people happy for you let me see the letters first we have a h e so this person pronounced as he maybe um we also have another h another he so there could be two people involved yeah so you maybe have a two male or masculine energy coming your way look at this he he this could be same gender sex relationship for some of you doesn't have to be we have a knight of sword yeah there's someone who's reaching out like fast uh live in the present focus on yourself we also have the cat or kitty you could be very intuitive psychic yeah i told you others of you this could be like um your intuitions are very high you could be getting some type of uh, downloads so pay attention to that eight of cups yeah someone coming back from the past are you leaving someone back yeah you're you're leaving someone yeah there's attachment here this person have attachment issues they cannot let you go this is someone from your past either friend a lover or i don't know friends or benefits type of relationship like someone cannot let you go attachment here we also have a unicorn so i believe that there's a lot of things are going to happen for you unexpectedly think like you're unique you're different you're beautiful uh, we have a love you yeah there could be some message coming from this person like someone is going to send you a message like our love confession or uh, let's say someone gonna confess something to you yeah arrow could be a sagittarius cupid's arrow someone is falling in love with you someone wants to promise to you like they're gonna stay maybe this time yeah this person could be from a uk we also have r v s e e vest i'm hearing vest we also have e we have a diamond yeah some of you you are the diamond you are the true diamond you could be also buying and purchasing a diamond uh, or maybe this person is bringing some diamond ring to you people gonna jealous definitely i'm telling you something yeah there's someone who's gonna send you a message yeah like i feel this is someone who is falling for you they have a crush on you or they like you or they want to get to know you or this is the confession coming yeah you're gonna receive a message from someone they want to be your friend or they want to be your lover or something or this could be an ex person coming back to you or want to talk to you interesting um like share and subscribe i'm gonna see you later bye hello group number two if you choose this beautiful pirate welcome on your reading someone is like a star like or someone definitely see you as a star like very shining very like uh, you have a bright aura or something or this is this person sees you very successful or this person could be very successful or you are attracting a lot of success 
you're you're also attracting a lot of people definitely people around you right now seeing you like you are the you're the this shining star are are you could be becoming your authentic self okay that's what you're focusing on right now your aura there's something about your aura there's something about you like people are definitely attracted to you are are definitely it could be in a romantic offers or this could be just a career like opportunities like people are seeing your potential people are seeing what you do your light your your talent something like that now let's see what's more here we have a reflection we have restrictions uncertainty and blockages we also have a what a mess clean it up mistake we have early stages innocence new oh what is this we also have loyalty, trustworthy, and friends. Okay, so some of you, this could be a new friendship. A new friend is, 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 is entering in your life. You could be adopting a new pet. For some of you, I'm not going to lie. I'm saying it. So this person could be born into a dog here because I can see that there is someone who is coming to you like they're taking a step. It, it could be a new person. They want to be your friend. Or, yeah, and this person is a trustworthy. Like you can trust this person. This is a loyal friend. Once they are into your friend group or will be with you, they're going to prove you. Um, what I'm asked, this could be someone that who maybe did something wrong and they're coming to apologize. Are you, you maybe have a, some misunderstanding between you and this person and this person is coming to clean up something with you or they want to clear something to you. This is someone that you just recently met or you just know them through friends or friends of friends. This, this is definitely... I'm taking like someone is coming and reaching out to you to clear something or they want to clear the mess what they created with in your life because this person could create a lot of confusion and blockages and uncertainty in your life. It could be romantic. It could be friendship. And this could be literally a co-worker or your family member or someone like uh, definitely coming to clear something to you. Let's see more. We have a forever then we have, oh my God, trust me, I did not see it. Sorry and apology. Yeah, this is someone who wants to apologize to you something. Um, with this forever, I'm picking up this person took forever to come towards you. They're taking baby steps. Look at this. I'm coming, but they're afraid to approach you. We have a karma. Yeah. And we also have a loyalty. Wow, it's coming twice. Trust me, I did not see the cards. It's coming twice. This person is very loyal. They're very loyal to a fault, I'm hearing. So this is someone who is a loyal friend, but at the same time, they want to be your loyal. This could be a friend, friendship to lover, maybe. This person want to be your lover. They are your loyal friend, like you know it. Or, or let's say if you don't know this person, this is a loyal friend, the friends of a friend, like very loyal. This person is very loyal. There's something about this person, loyalty. Like you cannot question about this person, loyalty, towards their friends, family, towards their commitment. This is someone who want to prove you that they're loyal with you. So they're gonna, they maybe want to ask you out. This person could be living into um, a place like there is a snow right now, a very cold weather. I could be living near the ocean. You could be in a different places for some. Yeah, this is someone who wants your forever and they're going to be forever loyal with you. Wow. Wow. <laughs> this is someone that you had a karmic connection with, karmic contract. There is definitely some restrictions. There's a mess created between you and this person. This person missed the opportunity with you. They may be friend zoned you. They may be ghosted you. Um, they, they maybe did something that was uh, that, that they were very childish and immature. Um, this person was innocent. I feel like they want to prove you that they're some of you. This person wants to maybe prove you that they're innocent. They did nothing wrong. Uh, if you under, misunderstood them or their friends or something. We also have an apology. It could be coming from the past person. Like someone that who really own you apology because it's a karma. This person and it's like you are attached with this person somehow karmically. We are attached with people. So you definitely know this person maybe from past life. You can see that. And the way she is holding the hand, it's also apology. I believe this is someone who wants to apologize. They own you an apology. And I believe that karma is really hitting them. Like go. They're really in a dark space right now. They know that what they created the mess. But there is a blockages too and, and some restrictions. Maybe this person could be living in a different places. They cannot see you. They cannot meet you. Maybe you don't have numbers of each other or you just removed each other or blocked each other. So they're feeling some blockage. That, uh, yeah, I believe this is someone with the blockages coming like someone who's a block right now. They cannot reach out to you. They cannot 
talk to you. They cannot see you for some reason. Okay, they could be stuck in something. But you can see that there's a lot of animals here. So there's a chicken, then this this baby chicken, and then we have this um, dog, and we have a parrot. So something maybe is a sign for you. This is someone who wanna they are they're gonna be with you. I believe that they're coming. They're in a deep reflection. Look at this. This person is in a reflection. That's what we're starting. And there's a twice. There's a mirror effect here. The person that you're thinking, they're thinking about you. It's a mirror effect here with a reflection. You both are thinking about each other or the past. Or this person is specifically whoever they're coming for apology. Or they want to tell you something. They want to confess or they want to say something. Because they own you this. Or they, they want to prove you maybe their innocence. It's like they are in a deep reflection right now. What just happened between you and them? This is that person. Um, this is also someone who could be, there's a friends involved here maybe. Their friends maybe need to apologize to you. Or they need to apologize to you because they were listening to their friends or they were involving their friends. I don't know. But there's a friends involved here. That's what I'm hearing. Now let, let's see from the, or this could be literally your friend who's coming for apology. You could be like, are you your best friends? Are you a lovers? Like besties? Or this person wants to be your best friend or lover? I don't know. Let me see from a tarot now. Group number two. Yeah, three of wands. This is someone who lives in the far from you, like they're in the distance. Ten of pentacles. This could be a family member for some of you. Like could be a family member or relative or someone that who sees you like a family. Oh, yeah. Okay. Okay, this card fall. Uh, yeah, okay. Um, page of cup here you go i told you they're they're blocked they're blocked right now so they cannot reach out to you i don't know either they're blocked by you like you're not talking to each other or they're blocked by their family or restrictions like they cannot reach you they cannot because of their family restrictions or blockages could be you both have a different maybe upbringing because there's something coming with the family here environment because your home bringing with the three of wands and the ten of pentacles like this person think that their family is not going to allow you and not going to welcome you. And your families are involved here also maybe. Like this person is really restricted by their family. But there's a distance here though. Yeah, I believe um, this could be the blockage of coming tradition, culture, religion, or could be some family differences. I'm also seeing this is someone who lives far from you. Definitely three of wands and a star. This person lives far from you. It's a long distance connection. This is someone who's watching you from afar. They're keeping an eye on you. Continuously, obsessively. Because I'm seeing with the hermit, it's like they are, look at this, the way this person is dropping their laptop. Um, yeah, they're watching you. This could be someone who has a crush on you, like they like you. Literally, this person like you maybe. And they're having a blockage and restriction like, they cannot uh, send you a message. This person is having a difficult time to reach to out to you. Like they're really stressing out with the Ten of Swords and Page of Cups to send this message. They cannot. I feel this person is typing the message and then they're deleting it. Because if something is stopping them, it's like they're overthinking or stressing or they're worrying a lot. They're nervous. This person could have a yeah, King of Cups. This is definitely someone romantic. Like they have a feelings for you. This person literally had a crush on you and they develop it and now it's a king of cups. Like they are in love with you. They like you. You could also have an age gap between you and this person. There's an age gap here. This person could be a creative or artist. Um, or they could be a content creator. They could be popular with a star card. Like people know them. People maybe know this person's family with the ten of pentacles and the star. This person's maybe family in the public. Are well recognized family or this person is well known person in their community or people around them like um, we have a the high priestess some of you this person could be a tarot reader they could be a light worker spiritualist psychic intuitive uh, this is also someone maybe who got reading on you or you could be getting getting readings on this person because there is definitely no clarity here but you feel the connection there's a definitely psychic connection here intuitive and psychic type of a feeling but in reality nothing is happening look there's a stuck energy here Stagnant energy. I don't think so something happened between you and this person or this person ever told you 
from their mouth or directly like they like you. They maybe give you the hints. Uh, maybe you feel it, but this person never told you. You could be getting, um, assert, you could be very uncertain about this person, confused and messed up, like stuck, like not understanding what is the truth, what is the clarity about this relationship. This is someone who ghosted you, and you maybe have no answer why they did this, why they run away from you. Or this person is like ask, asking question why you gone silent, why you start talking to them, why you block them, why you remove them, why you. Why you're not talking to them? You may be giving this person a silent treatment with the high priestess, to be honest. Yeah, you may be giving them a silent treatment. You could be a Pisces and Virgo, like twin sisters, type of a zodiac sign. Or you could be opposite, like Pisces and Virgo energy here. Yeah, this person could have a strong Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio placements. I can see that. They could be Aquarius, Virgo, strong Pisces again. Um, and literally, this could be someone... Um, yeah, Virgo, Taurus, or Capricorn. I'm also seeing Sagittarius energy. This person is wishing like they really want to talk to you, whoever this is. This could be an offer coming, off a work offer maybe coming, that can bring you a lot of success with the Ten of Pentacles in the future, the bright future. Someone maybe wants to work with you. Someone maybe wants to collaborate with you. And this is going to bring you a lot of success and can make you a star. So this is like a big opportunity coming or some type of an offer is coming like little offer. You can see that like it's a little offer. Like what can I do? But in the future, you can experience more or you can be like a big star or or something. Or this person is maybe a future big star. They're going to be popular. Maybe right now they're working on it, but in, in the future they will be. But I believe this is someone who live on the distance from you. And, and you're not in a contact with this person at all. Or for some of you, you have no idea who this person is. Look at this, because they never told you Eight of Swords and the Hermit. They never told you. They're hiding it. They're really stressing out to reach out to you or even to approach you, I'm hearing. Okay? But you will receive a message. I believe this is someone who is definitely King of Cups and Page of Cups. They're going to send you a message. They're going to talk to you. They want to talk. They want to offer you this if it's a work offer. Especially if you are into this type of a business. There's an offer coming, like someone, some of you, it's like a wish coming true. It's like a wish coming true with a star. You have been wishing, desiring, and liking this person from afar, but I believe this is them. They have been watching you from afar, liking you, keeping it secret. Only they know that they are in love with you or they like you. And finally, they're going to, it's coming from their chest. Like, going to say it. I feel you feel it. You feel it, who this person is. You know who this person is. Oh, my God. Oh, sorry. Shit. Sorry. Yeah, it's definitely a mess here. Oh my God, it's a sign. Oh, the video is recording though. So I will keep recording it. I'm sorry. It's just an omen or a sign. Maybe, I don't know. Let me get a sign for you from this Oracle card. Yeah, I believe that you're going to be shocking. Are you going to be surprised? Are you not expecting it? This is that person. This person can also shake up your life. Like, you saw that? You saw that? What happened? Yes. Now, let me get some oracle card for you. What is the advice for you or anything that you need to know in this month and you need to focus on? Okay, we have a risk. Yeah, I told you, dice. It's a risk. Maybe that's why. For some of you, this person already have a family. I'm not going to lie. Yeah, this person is already married. Now I get it. Why it's a risk? Because this per it's very risky because this person already have a family or kids. And it's a secret that they're in love with you. Nobody knows, even though not their partner. And they're, they're tracking you, they're watching you, they're keeping an eye on you. This person already have a baby, or kids, they have a family. But they're desiring you, they like you. They feel the connection with you, the soulmate connection. And they're going to prove you their loyalty. Or it could be there is a third party involved here. I don't know, for some reason, I'm picking up, there's, a, some mis there's definitely something secret here that you don't know about it. We have a risk here. So let's see. We have take a chance. Every risk is a, is a success when you are committed to learning and growth. Yeah. So some of you, this is you maybe going to take a risk on this person or this connection. But I believe this is the risk for this person because they, they live in a different country, the place than you. Or they could be, it's a risk for this person, like maybe career, especially if they are reaching on the goal of a success or they're working on it. Or for some of you, this could be a risk for this person. Like they know that the family is not going to approve you. But they're going to take a risk for this connection. 
how sweet let's see now or they maybe think that you're gonna reject them but they're still coming forward this person is very nervous i can feel this person energy like they're they're over thinking and they're thinking all the negative scenarios in their mind so let's see we have two of cups yeah it's a soulmate two of love nine of cups yeah wish fulfillment this person could be literally 29 29 years old right now or you could be seeing 11 11 number a lot so definitely divine counterpart if we add it two plus nine it's 11 so divine counterpart soulmate this person definitely believe that you are the one for them they're in love literally two of cups nine of cups like you're this person wish fulfillment they want you i believe that you both like each other it's it's mutual or there will be a mutual feelings or energies this is like a very pure and romantic love here okay what's more letters let's let's letter and oh so this person who said no to you maybe are you gonna say no we also have a s so maybe son this person has a son or they could be a son like a one son or something you could be also seeing 11 11 a lot i'm seeing sin yeah there's something this person think it's a sin they cannot do it oh my god oh my god this could be a scene in their culture or religion or maybe in your culture i don't know we have a no another o we have a a e o you can see the letters here triple e maybe this person has a lot of letters in their name like repeating numbers or letters sorry letters in their name we have a new york maybe city n y this person maybe want to meet you there i'm also seeing ceo so this person could be owner of something they could be on a high position yeah we have a m um mine this person is a possessive mine yeah i told you look at this mine are you gonna say this person is mine or something like this person is possessive okay oh i i'm seeing i'm seeing i this person is definitely watching you i there's something about this person eyes maybe is very beautiful are your eyes are very beautiful and captivating to this person i'm also seeing mc so there's something about your repetition or your image or this person is image is going to be definitely affected are you both of your image as family images we also have a d alone i'm hearing alone die this person is dying we also have a money something with the money coming we have a hi yeah this person is definitely going to send you a message they want to talk this could be the first time this person is reaching out to anyone like they're very nervous we have a e we also have the yeah there could be some financial issues involved here right now kiss me yeah this person really want to kiss you this person love your lips maybe we also have a j we have a b yeah i feel like it's going to be a blossom like this is like a very sweet and romantic type of a love coming for you this person is in love with you and you have no idea or maybe you have an idea okay like you know it and finally this person is is like ready to blossom in this love yeah there could be a proposal coming for some we have an i yeah hemeth amethyst so it's definitely talking about healing here so some of you it could be a reconciliation or something maybe never happened or bloom or blossom but now it will okay so there is definitely some healing energy or like if you are a healer this person really cannot get you out of their head like they're falling for you yeah expect the unexpected that's what i'm hearing this is your reading gonna see you later bye hello group number three welcome if you choose this beautiful key let's see what's happening for you in this month what you can expect what you can experience we have the movement okay i believe that there's something unlocking for you because you choose the key there's something unlocking for you there's a movement here there's it could be some type of a communication it's, it's reminding me of eight of wands energy so there's definitely some type of a movement travel this month could be some type of a communication coming confession coming there's a messages here there's a passion here something is desire like driving you to move something to do something yeah let's see you like there will be stagnant energy but now it's not i feel like it's they're saying that the road is clear the path is clear for you there's also something unlocking some of you you could be purchasing something or buying something we have a bright ideas yeah creative uh, onto something so some of you you're really going after what you want okay 
you have a lot of bright ideas for your success for your work there's also a lot of sales here this month for you if you on some type of a business or work off your throne yeah here you go claiming your power but i don't know why i'm picking up like you could be reaching you could be meeting someone that is you are going to collaborate with someone and you both are like a power point like a very power couple type of a people so either you both are working together as a team, as a partnership, and it's going to bring you a lot of success. Or there is someone who's reaching out to you and you will be like a power couple. Yeah, phone call. Here you go. Conversation, long distance. This this is definitely someone who lives far from you and they're going to call you. They're going to text you. They're going to message you something and you're coming together off your throne. You're going you're gonna to feel like successful. This is also some type of a maybe... A offer coming for work or you are selected for something it's like they want to work with you it's like a business offer or opportunity or this could be if you're a student or you're learning something it's like you're selected something about your like they're going to call you about success like you're selected we also have a rebirth recover and restore there's definitely someone coming back from the past here and i'm not even surprised because we are going through a mercury retrograde right now so this is someone who's going to call you text you message especially a call a message a text and, and they want to rebirth with you. They want to restore this friendship, this love, or whatever you had. And you're going to be successful. Um, you could be also sharing your bright ideas to each other or to, to this person. Or they want your help, maybe. There's also someone who could be reaching out uh, for your help. They want to ask you out something because obviously you're successful or... Uh, you, you could be reaching out to someone for some type of um, help here. But, but there's a movement here though. Yeah. Rebirth. This could be you. You're also like starting something. You're, you could be working on a project or you could be... It's like... Um, it's like starting something for yourself. Let's see. We have a single. Okay. So this is my single pile. A lot of you, you could be single. But you're not going to be single because I feel like there could be some flirtatious energy or some type of interaction happening with someone. Soul connection. Ooh. Okay, you're about to meet someone. You're there's someone who is entering in your life. They're like they're gonna send you a message or call. Are they gonna talk to you? And boom, this is a rebirth of a connection. Like you're single. You're like, oh, I'm I'm just dying alone. I'm single. I am just spending this year again or new year again alone. There's nobody for me. But no, there's a soul connection is coming into your life. You're about to meet someone or you may be already talking to this person at once. Like energy giving me, like you already had some flirtatious energy, but it's never blossomed. It's never bloomed, but now it's coming. It's going to be a grounded. This is also someone who's single and they are attracted to you. Yeah, happiness. Oh my God. And we have a, th yeah, this is someone who's thinking of you, period. There's a movement here from this person. Whoever this is, I believe this is a new person. I believe it's a new person. Look at this. Unlock. You're gonna, you have the key to unlock this connection. If you're going to welcome them, yes, welcome. If it's not, then not. Some of you already, you have an idea who this person is. You are like, you unlock something in this person's mind about you. And they feel like you are the one. And this person is thinking of you. Happiness. They feel like they can be happy with you. And... They can have with you that they don't have with anyone. So they cannot be single. So I believe that a lot of you, you're not going to be single. There's definitely someone who's thinking about you. Um, this person feel that soul connection with you. There's a movement coming from this person. They're going to talk to you. And they want to talk to you, I believe. You're going to be a power couple though. Look at this. How, how happy you are. This is someone who also makes you happy maybe. Or you make this person happy. Like someone is definitely smiling on your jokes. Uh, you will be have a ha very happy memories with this person. <laughs> wow, yeah, Wheel of Fortune, definitely. Pisces, Sagittarius, it's a Jupiter energy, expansion, joy, happiness. This person is bringing, a, if you have been struggling in relationships and you always feel like I'm a stuck, I'm, I'm never going to find a happy relationship, I'm never going to get out of any situation, no. Now, this is someone who's bringing expansion and joy and happiness. In your life. You're going to be extremely happy with this person. It's a soul connection here though. If it's a soul connection. It's like there's a two people here. So you are also maybe thinking about this person. You know who I'm talking about right now. Or once you're going to get interacted with this person. Or you know involved with this person. If you're not right now. Because I believe that you will be. Then this is happening. Wheel of Fortune is number 10 completion. 
Yeah, six of swords. There could be this could be someone that you're misunderstanding with, or some type of a cycle that you completed already, and they're coming back, returning to you, and they're bringing peace and happiness and joy because they're ready. They're just ready. I'm hearing if it's a rebirth here. This could be an old flame too, like some type of an old flame that never boom. But now it's happening. This person is thinking about you. They have an idea. They they are thinking about you. All of the sudden. Their perspective may be changed. That's what I'm saying. Like they feel like there's something about you. It's like it's like change their perspective. Yeah, we have a strength. This could be a Leo or Sagittarius, Pisces. I'm feeling Capricorn. You, this is also the way the light is sitting. I feel like you tame the beast. It's like a beauty and beast type of energy is coming to me. Like this is someone that you can be. You can definitely tame them. This person has a big ego and pride though, especially if they're a fire sign. I'm feeling, okay. But they could be um, Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius, giving me Libra vibes also. Like this person wants a peace with you. Like something happened between you and this person and they want a peace maybe. I if, if you are single and this person is single, I believe that both of you are ready for some serious relationship. Both of you are ready to let go of your past and ready for something new and fresh. If this is a long distance, I believe this is going to be a long distance. So you're going to talk to each other a lot. Are you going to text each other a lot? Because there's a distance here. Yeah, Eight of Pentacles. This could be someone who's seeing you at working. Are you going to work with this person or collaborate with this person? Eight of Pentacles. This is someone, um, this is also you. Your hard work is going to pay off finally. There's a success. There's a, some lucky event coming to you. You're going to feel lucky in some matters. And I believe that some of you, this is you. You're going to be extremely happy. It's like a joy and happiness. And finally, some type of a success may be in your work. Your hard work is going to pay off. Or you're, you're finally, you're getting out of that phase that was very toxic and healthy. Or any situation that you feel like you're going to get stuck. No, it's over. This painful situation or this karmic cycle or karmic period of your life. You're, you're going to feel more creative from this month. You may be also going to, you know, journal things like what you want to do, what you want to achieve. You may be doing something on your vision board or something. It could be a travel here for some of you. You could be traveling somewhere. You're also going to feel more confident, independent in your power, you know, of your throne. Like you're feeling a lot of success here and it's really glowing up. And that's why you may be attracting a lot of new energy and good energy. Even though if it's someone coming like a rebirth here, that I, I don't think so. It's like someone that you had a very toxic things. This is someone that you maybe had an interaction with, but it's like not romantic or just like something never happened. Yes, a pentacle. Yeah, this is a new person. It's a new beginning. You maybe recently met this person or literally within a year or a year before maybe you met this person. This is that person. For some of you. It could be six to eight months, like you know this person from that. Yeah, eight of pentacles and six, eight, eight of pentacles. For some of you, it's a new work that you're starting or something that you're introducing in your own work that is going to bring you like a lot of luck and abundance in the success in the future. You could be purchasing something. Some of you, you could be buying a jewelry or purchasing a jewelry. Okay, this month. Um, you're going to treat yourself. For some of you, you could be taking yourself out there. You're enjoying your life. You're treating yourself better. That's what you're understanding. Eight of Pentacles and Ace of Pentacles also talk about maybe you're going to meet this person through work or some type of a work or formal meetings or when you're shifting something or somewhere or traveling maybe. But this could be also something that talking about like something big is coming into your life. Like this is a potential to have a long term or future. It's like abundance. This is also someone who is going to equally put the effort. It's not like you are doing that. If you are used to be like unrequited love or putting all the work and the other is not doing, I don't think so. You need to do your work here. This person will do it. It's like equal, mutual type of love here. Understanding. This is a new person. I don't know why. Yeah. We also have the high priestess. This could be a Pisces. This could be literally, you could be tarot reader, psychic, intuitive. Uh, you could be a socially, maybe you have some social media appearance artist you could be a public person or this person could be uh for some of you this person is maybe hiding it they like you but they're gonna finally going to say it others of you with the high priestess you may be getting a lot of tarot readings about love so everybody's telling you new love is coming so this is that person or let's say that this person is getting readings on you 
and they intuitively know that you're coming into their life. You, they maybe feel the connection with you and they're choosing you. I told you, they're coming back to you because they feel there's some type of a divinely guided connection with the Wheel of Fortune and High Priestess, definitely. I also feel like this is some, if you don't know who I'm talking about, it's like a fate is bringing this person. It's like it's a destiny. It's something created by the universe. But you know that this person is about to enter in your life or coming. You know that. You feel it. You intuitively maybe pick up this person's energy, sign, symbol, synchronicities. You can watch, you can see it. So you can see it. Or you could be also seeing dreams. And finally, it's happening with the Six of Wands. You're going to be victorious. You're also very successful. Okay, are you are going to get success? I'm picking up here. You will be also like a power, like power couple or public couple. Like people will know. Or one of you could be in a public. Let me give you the sign here like your message for you or anything that you need to know group number three you may be glowing up with your confident with your beauty or you are changing something in in some type of a shift is changing in you like some type of a big shift is happening in you and your aura and your energy and people can see it or people can feel it yeah we have a choices so you maybe have a multiple options or choices or maybe this person and they're choosing you yeah, worry less about making the right choice and more about being strong enough to handle any outcome. I feel like you can do that. You maybe have a lot of opportunities are coming. Look at this, we have intention number one. So this person could have a life path number one or they are going to make you their number one priority or their intentions will be very clear. You may be also coming on some type of a number one, like you're getting some success, uh, getting some type of a popularity on the top, award, ceremony, I don't know. It could be number one. If this person has choices, you are in the number one. Also, I'm hearing whoever this is. If this is like a, you have a choices, this person will be your number one, like choice. Like you're going to know that number one is this person. There's no even doubt or question about it. And this is how this person is thinking. If they are option, they know that you are the number one for them. Something like that. They're choosing you. I'm hearing one and only. I'm also hearing like that so let's see that okay guitar so this yeah this is someone who could be a musician they play guitar they have a guitar they, they do something with the music they could be pisces cancer scorpio something with the music is coming we also have a h b by so some of you this person could be a bisexual we have a t habit bite i'm hearing bite do it yourself do diy so maybe this person do some things that only only they do they create some type of a content a lot of eyes here we have a queen of heart yeah this person is really genuine they're loving they're very sensitive they could be very feminine or they have a feminine features they have a lot of emotions and feelings they could be empath we have a, a bat something with a bat a tab dab someday soon things are going to work out so some of you you don't be don't be disappointed this person gonna make you feel safe with them it's like a unicorn magic are this person gonna be unique about something are they gonna like that you are unique oh for some of you it's a x k o cat i'm hearing take this person gonna take action we have a u This person's date of birth maybe is, is like something about this person's date of birth is coming. I don't know. Maybe you know it or there's some this person's birthday is coming very soon. Yeah, this person could be Muslim or hijabi or you could be. Or they could be from Muslim country. They could be dark. Yeah, we have a butterfly or dragonfly. I think it's something that giving butterfly vibe. Yeah, transformation. Yeah, ring here. So there could be a potential of a marriage here with this person. We also have the dollar. So it could be, that you know, like currency, money. So something could be money. This person could be rich. They could be independent. I feel this is like you both are independent. You could be also attracting money and transformation in your money or your look. Some of you I'm hearing this person could be a makeup artist or you could be. So this is your reading. Gonna see you later. Like, share and subscribe. Hit the notification bell. Bye.